You need you wide, bitches. And we back with another one. And today we have West Side Gun with Hitler Wears Hermes 8. Sincerely, Adolf. You know what I'm saying? This has been. This has been long awaited. He he announced this last year, and it's almost damn been damn near a whole year since he announced this. Um, so he's finally out with this. This he said this is side A. There, apparently there was supposed to be 30 tracks on this, but I guess he split it up, which is actually low key a smart move. Cause I'm not trying to sit here for 30 tracks. I'm sorry, like I'm I'm just not doing that. <laughs> um, damn near two hours of material. Nah, I can't I can't do that for a full reaction. At that point, you just get a review. <laughs> 13 songs, 40 minutes. It was a smart move. Um, no time to waste. I haven't looked at the features to this, so we're not going to scroll down too far because I don't want to get spoiled. But, you know, hey man, I'm looking forward to this. I've been itching for some new Griselda. You know, the last thing that dropped was, I think, the, you know, Bo Jackson and I think the Pyrex Picasso EP by Benny. And, uh, you know, I've just been waiting for this mostly because I haven't heard a new gun in a minute. So, I'm all for it. I'm all here. Uh, I'm, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's get right into this. The final, well, part one of the end of an era. So, uh, yeah, one of the best mixtape series, I think. Uh, you know, some of his best works, Hitler 2, Hitler 3, um... Hitler 6, I think those are some of his best projects, and, you know, he's wrapping it up at this one, so, let's see how this goes, let's see how this goes, no time to waste, let's get right into it, Murders in Maxfields, let's get it, go right into the next track, uh, Blessed Times, featuring Double A Rashid, let's get it, alright, kind of setting the tone, the atmosphere of the album, alright, let's get it. Talk that talk. Alright, next track we got is Mariota featuring Stove God Cooks. Let's get it. Conductor. Oh. Oh, we, we, we floating. We floating. Okay. Oh. God damn, this beat is beautiful. Immaculate. Huh. Not a bad track. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, definitely that beat. That beat on Mariota was dope as hell. The the verses, I think, obviously, I like the gun more than Stove God kicks on there, but Stove God did his thing. He did his thing. I like, I, what I like about Stove God is definitely his, uh, his charisma on every single track, you know. He just doesn't give a fuck, and he's gonna spit his talk his talk, you know what I'm saying? But West Side Gun... Definitely, he wrapped his ass off on that one, that's for sure. Um, next track we got is Vogue cover with Stove God. Again, what is this? Is this a West Side Gun Stove God Cooks collab album? Like, what's going on here? Oh. Huh. Okay. What's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Right. All right. Not bad. All right. Yeah. All right. Next track we got is Margella Split Toes featuring Makami. All right. Now they know uh, they know how to get me with the with the jazz. You know what I'm saying? Huh. 
Alright. He was fitting on that one. I'm gonna mock the thing on that, you know. Beat was beat was tight, you know, that it was solid. Solid track. Anyways, next track we got is uh Draymond featuring Stove God Cooks. Let's get it. It's him with the left, I serve a junkie, walk the line of lavish life a crime, remember them. Since Rome, why is Rome Street how come Rome Street's not featured like what? That man killed it. That man Rome Street killed that. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Uh. Rome Streets has been on fire. Speaking of Rome Streets, he's on the next track. But I gotta talk about Rome Streets for a minute. Oh my gosh, that man has been on fire this year. Especially with that DJ Muggs project, uh, which has actually grown on me a bit. And, um, what's the, the, the feature wave? Uh, Razor's Edge. Another dope project. This man, this man, could definitely make a case for being rap MVP for this year. But you know, it's still Alchemist. But anyways, and on fire, he's been killing it. And that verse on Draymond, yet again, proves it. Surprise feature. Um, that was definitely needed. He brought a whole different life uh to this album, definitely. Uh, so track we had is Perry Perry featuring Rome Streets. Let's get right into it. Bust on her nose ring. Hell nah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> New kinds of bliss. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. Alright, next track we got is Right Now, featuring Stove God and Jadakiss. Let's get it. Drag the stove to me right now. This beat is pretty. This beat is pretty. I like it. Huh. All right. Hook's kind of growing on me. I didn't like it at first. Heard that Jada Kiss left. Yeah. This is solid. Not bad at all. Yeah. I like this. All right. Next track we got is West Timer featuring Boldy James, Sauce Walker. What the fuck? <laughs> and Stove God Cooks. Let's get it. Money ain't a thing in my whole voice. I had to get rich, they left me no choice. It weigh a little extra cause the dope moist. It weigh a little screaming money ain't a thing. <laughs> what is this? What in the fucking Looney Tunes Tom and Jerry beat is this, first of all? That's why to this they paint pictures in my likeness now. I have little boosie out the two see to come wipe you down. I'm not feeling this one so far, obviously, as you guys can see. Um Yeah. <laughs> I can't get over that. Uh, I don't like this track. I I don't like this track. I I I'm I'm very tempted to skip this. I'm very tempted to skip this. I must power through. 
Wow, this track was horrible. <laughs> this track was horrible. And West Side Gun wasn't even actually featured on it. Was he? I totally forgot. I can't lie. Oh, God. This... Yeah, uh, I didn't like that track at all. Um... That track, it didn't even have West Side Gun on it. It was just them three. Sauce Walker bullshitting on it. Bodie James, you know, doing his thing. And then Stove God with that obnoxious hook. Like, I, that track is just all around just not good. I don't even like the beat on there. There's like, it's not like unlistenable, but it's like, it's not even mid. It's just bad. It's just a bad track. That's... I didn't like that track at all. Um, easily the worst track by far. Like, there was like, why is this on? You have, th you have 30 tracks. You, you split this up in half, all right? Why is this existing? You could have take this track off and we'd be all good. Or just take this, just take it out in general and add something different. Hey, we'd be all cool with that. That, God, I don't even know. That doesn't even make any sense. I don't know. That, that track is bad. That track is, next track we got is Bash Money. Featuring Lil Wayne. Let's get it. Is this Lemon? Oh my gosh, Wayne! He's killing this! What the f- What? Yeah, yeah, that man Wayne killed that. That man Wayne killed that. This is dope. I had to listen to that track again, man. Wayne killed that. Um, that beat is so... It's very minimal, but it's very sinister. West Side Gun did his thing on there. Um, you know, Wayne... Wayne's feature run... Wayne's feature one lately has been crazy. It's he's been killing. He's been ripping damn near everything apart, man. He has been he's been on it. He's been on it. I wonder what uh, he's got coming out next, man, for album wise for him. But uh, yeah, he killed that. I enjoyed that song. That was that was definitely one of the so stronger tracks on here. That's for damn sure. So uh, and definitely one hundred percent. A step up from the track before. God. Anyways. <laughs> Next track we got is Claire's Back. Featuring Conway, Benny, and DJ Clue. Real famous. Buggies, you ever woke up with a bottom bonky? The niggas who used to love these service in the show. Got the play huh. on me. Make the wrong movies on the floor. He took your head shot. Let me say it's more vintage. ECW Simmon off the road. Huh. This track is six minutes long. What is... Where's Conway and where's Benny? What's going on here? Okay, come on. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> there better be a switch up or something. Like a... Like a beat switch. Like... Alright. Here we go. There you go. There you go. I was wondering when this was just gonna come. Huh. Yeah. Uh. Uh. That's how you yeah, that was dope first. Nice. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Claire's back. If he would have cut that down by like like two, three minutes, man, and just, you know, left a little gap, but then flipped it right to the, the beat switch for Conway and Benny to rap, man. 
that track would have been like so much more enjoyable. Like I actually would go back to that more, but that wasted space in the middle of it is just kind of like, okay, Wes Egan's talking to shit, but it's like the beat is not interesting enough for me to get prepared for what's to come next. You know what I'm saying? So if you would have like left a little space, not too much, maybe like a 20 second gap or something like that, you know, or just none at all, just do a giant, you know, switch after that and have DJ Clue come in again and introduce it, you know what I'm saying, on some DJ drama shit, like, that would have been, that would have been dope as well, but, um, yeah, that track was good, it's just, that, just that little gap for me, personally, um, yeah, you know, so next track we got is Spoons, featuring Conway, let's get it. Oh my god. Huh? Oh, you didn't stop that. What? This is the best track. This is the best track. Easily. Easily. Oh my gosh. Oh, Hall and Ash. Hall and Ash, man. They going back and forth. What? He had to eat it. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, this track was great. My favorite track by far. That track, this track is crazy. Hell no. Nah. Huh. Yeah, that, that track blows every single track beforehand out the water. You can say I'm crazy. You can say what you want. That track all around is just better than everything on here. <laughs> it's not even close. 716 Mile featuring Boldy James. Let's get it. Huh. Ooh. There you have it. Hitler 8 by West Side Gun. What I gotta say about this, man? Um, I enjoyed it. It's not a bad project. I enjoyed it for the most part. But the thing with this is just... Nothing is stick is going to stick with me. I 100% feel it. I think a lot of this album is all it's doing is just existing for me at the end of the day. It's not anything mind blowing. It's not anything crazy. There's nothing, you know, grabbing me or making me want to come back to this at all. To be honest, it's just a solid, decent project, um, and that's about it. There's only one track that like is miles ahead of everything else, and that I will be going back to, and that is Spoons. I think the chemistry between Conway and West Side Gun is like damn near unmatched and the beat by from Conductor Williams is dope as hell like I expected no less with Conway and West Side Gun on a track together like their chemistry has always been a one and that track is great thing else is just kind of like it's kind of just like there you know what I'm saying um and it's not even due to the beats because I think I, what I enjoyed about this project the most is the beats outside of Westheimer. West Side Gun, for the most part, actually, I think his verses are dope. What I don't really care about for this album is the amount of features. I think the amount of features on here are it, totally unnecessary or just really excessive. Like, there just doesn't need to be this many features. Like, I'm sorry, five Stove God Cook features? Like, come on. Come on. I respect Stove God. I like his confidence. Some of his verses are dope, but I'm not the biggest Dove God Cooks fan. He's very hit or miss for me, and he showed it again on here. Like, I'm just not I'm just not really mind blown by him at the end of the day. And to relax with him. I know you fuck with the guy, but come on. I just wanna hear either you just rap alone or find some new people, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wayne had a solid feature, Benny and Conway had solid features. Um, Rome Streets killed it again. You know, Makami did his thing. Uh, altogether, 
I enjoyed this album. It's just I'm not coming away with anything that is like flooring me. It's just it's cool. It's just a cool project. Um but uh, you know, there's gonna be part two drop into this, and I got a feeling with part two, part two is definitely gonna be the more commercial side. This is for the for the underground side of the fan base, you know what I'm saying? This is for the people who are the the Rome streets, the stove gods, the you know, the Boldy James. Like this is a project for them. Now he's gonna part two is gonna be the project with, you know, your Travis Scott, your your Cardi, your ASAP Rocky, you know, you got, I'm hearing some, there's going to be like Metro Boomin production or whatever, like it's, this, the next project is definitely going to be more commercial, so, you know, which is smart on West Side Gun's part, because, let's be real here, I'm, I'm pretty sure you would want to separate, it's because, it's, because there are underground heads that are just totally, totally closed-minded and hate anything mainstream. So this was a smart move by Gunn. If he's going that direction, I'm just speculating. Don't take my word for it. Uh, you know, this project was cool. It wasn't anything mind-blowing. Uh, Spoons was my favorite track by far. And outside of that, it was cool. Production carried for the most part. West Side Gunn did his thing. Uh, but the features were just over, overly, like, it, they're so unnecessary to the point. Like, we didn't need this many features on this, personally, in my opinion. Um... I want to hear some solo West Side Gun for once, you know what I'm saying? So, not a bad album, but I just wish there was, you know, more to it. And I'm expecting there to be more to it when the second half comes out to this. So, do I give this a rating? Because this album is like... Uh, I'll give the rating for the first half, alright? I'll give a rating for the first half, I guess. So, this is how I'm feeling on it. West Side Gun, Hitler 8, uh, Side A, you know. That's how I'm feeling. Uh, so yeah, those are my quick thoughts, hope y'all enjoyed, uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon for the notifications, and uh, yeah, we'll see y'all in the next